All right, it's tax time, people. Let's just get with it. Bruce Celery's here. We'll talk taxes. That was a so terrible sorry. intro. That was awful. I'm sorry. It, you know, your intro sort of foreshadowed your mindset about taxes, which I will change with these. Oh my gosh, there, you brought Vov. I brought Vov. I love taxes. Vov and Papa's Chocolates from Calgary, Bernard Calbo. Okay. It would complement that Middle Eastern meal. I mean, doesn't champagne go with everything? It absolutely yeah. does. Why do you think I'm starting with um, Vov and chocolate? I think you're trying to charm me because we're about to talk about <laughs> yeah, taxes. A little bit of bribery, <laughs> but here's the tip. It goes and I'm a long way with about me, my this. friend. Begin with your reward. Okay. Because no one, no one, even the people who do this for uh, a living, no yeah. one loves doing their taxes. They don't I love mean, it. really, you, they're going to tweet me and they're going to say, I love it, it's the best. I don't buy it. <laughs> what they love is vovic chocolate. Yes, they and do. Middle Eastern food. So you begin with the reward. And okay. once you've got that in sight, then you have to do the papers. Do you have a shoebox oh, at home? I see. Do you I do have the shoe box? many shoeboxes. <laughs> yeah. So a lot really? of a lot of shoeboxes. Yeah. So what you're saying is you're anticipating what that return's gonna be, and you're yeah. saying, okay, when I get to the end of this, I'm getting myself the new Apple product or a bottle of champagne yeah, or some like chocolate. This. I'm gonna like drink this. it like that or like with that. a straw. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so keep that in your mind. Yeah. So you're working towards something. You're working towards it's something. Because let's just not let's not pretend that taxes are fun because they're, they're really not. not. Fun. So let's get the paper going. Now there's okay. a bunch of paper. If you filed your taxes before, you know. Yes. So we've got a little bit of lead time here. There's papers that relate to income. Your yes. T4 from your job, your T3s and T5s from investment income. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, receipts, charitable receipts. Right. Receipts for your kids' activities, for athletics yeah, or those. arts, really important. And then also the receipt that you will have from your RRSP contribution. Right. So there's a whole bunch of receipts. I have a file, so every time I make a charitable donation, it just goes in the file, it all goes in the file, Smart. and then when it's time, I just pull out the file. Some yeah. people have a shoebox. You know, Claire probably has something really creative. Claire has like a, a toaster. File. She's a toaster. She has a pita pocket. She has a pita pocket. Of course she does. It doesn't matter. It's whatever works yeah, for you. Right. And if you're collecting it as it comes in, yeah. it, I only started doing that last year, and I'm like, why didn't I start doing this ages so ago? Much simpler. Yeah, and when it's tax time, you just yeah. go with the file. If you lost your engagement ring, what would you do? Cry. Cry, mm -hmm. and then you would scour the house. You might even call 911 if that I happened. Might. Right, you might. Yeah, it's the an best emergency. choice. But why I bring that up mm -hmm. is with things of value, we will hunt and hunt and hunt to find them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we get a little bit lazy when it comes to the paper. Find the paper. <laughs> find the paper. <laughs> and if you can't find the paper, find the paper. Right. <laughs> so call the gymnastics club and get them to re issue it to you. Call the CRA. Because okay. here's an example if you qualify for the maximum deduction for physical activity, it could be worth a grand to you. Right, you think, oh, I can't you don't have find. To throw that out. I put my kid in dance for all this time, but I right. can't find the thing. Okay. Find the paper. All right, so and make you sure you, you do what you need to do to get those papers in order. Yeah. I remember that happened to us, and our accountant said, you need to find that paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was something, it was almost $1,000 back that yeah. we were getting, and it was for one of the kids' it activities, so difference. it makes a difference. Do you pay someone to do it for you, or do you Great do it question. yourself? Here are the three variables you need to consider. Complexity, mm -hmm. competency, and enthusiasm. Everything in my world is three. Everything is three. So these yeah. are the three things. So with complexity, I can install a light bulb. I am so <laughs> that I can do. You got I it. will never install a light fixture. It's too right. complex. So if you look at your circumstance, you've got a side business, you've got rental income, right. it's too complex. Secondly is competency. Do you have the basic skills to do it? So some people, they've just done it for years. Other people are newly single and their mm -hmm. spouse used to do it. So they would have to invest a lot of time and energy to do it. For example, I could probably build a website, but I don't, I don't want to do that. It's not how I want to spend my time. Right. And then the third is enthusiasm. Here's the question. Do you not hate it? Yeah. It's not do you love it, because I don't expect you to love it, but do you not hate it? So okay. I took small engine repair, a whole Good community college course in small engine repair, and I had the, uh, the ability, and it wasn't too complex, and I was able to file down that piston, but yeah. at the end of it, I didn't love it. I kind of hated it, so now I happily pay a mechanic to do that for me. That's so, important. you know, you've got two choices. You can uh, hire an accountant, get a referral from your friends, and say, you know, who do you see? Do you like them? Do that. Yeah. Or there's a bunch of online services like a TurboTax. They're not the only one, but they're a great option because they prompt you to ask questions and they'll <laughs> remind you about the papers you need to find. Right. Go get the papers. Put yeah, them in your pita pocket. Yeah, throw that out there as well if you don't have the money because some people are thinking, I don't have the money to pay an accountant yeah. to do them. 
thank goodness that there are so many easy online applications yeah. that you can now go through yeah. and figure it out. It might not yeah. be your favorite thing in the world, but if you, yeah. if you can get through it, yeah. you get them done. And CRA prefers that you file online. They incent you to file yeah, online. They true. want you to file online. We, as I, taxpayers, want you to file online because right. it's more efficient for everyone. And if you get a refund, then it will get to you that much quicker. So what happens if you just don't do it? Because ah. there are some people out there that are just thinking it's too much trouble and yeah. I don't care. Well, two things. Uh, if they owe you, you don't get money. So right. if you have a salary job and they've been re withholding tax at source, you might get a refund and you're not getting that refund. Right. They have it, right? And there are a lot of credits that you qualify just by filing. So if you're someone who's, you know, unemployed or on mat leave and you've got kids, you actually could get a refund because of the credits that you qualify for. Right. If you owe, the consequences are significant. So if you miss by a day, April 30th, you miss by a day, mm -hmm. they immediately levy a 5% penalty on what you owe, 5%. An additional one percent for every month you were late. That's just the penalty okay. plus interest, and it gets worse and worse over time. Now, here's the one exception: if you have had a serious, everybody's so quiet. They're like, because we're scared oh, now. Oh I'm scared. Look, I'm look, not even gonna look. Look, <laughs> look, yeah. Okay, focus back. The audience is like, oh my god, this is like, a oh my scary Five percent and then one percent. Scary man. Okay. So uh, not taxes. only a penalty but interest as well. So yeah. you just want to make sure you file. But what I was gonna say was if you have some sort of a significant life event, you've been diagnosed with cancer, mm -hmm. and it's really thrown you and you haven't filed, call the CRA. You'll need to prove it, mm -hmm. but call them and see if you can work something out to avoid that penalty. Okay. I know a viewer uh, wrote into you in Chatelaine Magazine and said, listen, I haven't filed in years. Yeah. So your advice is take a deep breath. Yes. And how do you approach it if you are catching up? Drink the bottle of vodka. Yes. Okay. In and then case, start, with, start with the last Last year, or do you start with the most current year? How do you do it? It less about that and mm -hmm. more about the professional who's going to hold your hand. Oh, this okay. is the time to say, you know what? I need help. I need help. And often it is paralyzing fear. Yes. Even people who are, you know, run multi-million dollar corporations, raise teenagers, yes. they can be overwhelmed, <laughs> which I think is like the highest watermark for challenge in the world. But they're they're paralyzed. And so right. we call it procrastination and we kind of play around, oh, I'm procrastinating. But pro procrastination is rooted in a fear of something, yes. right? So in that case, I would hire someone, say, here's my shoebox. You tell me what I'm, you know, I might be able to go seek the papers, but I don't know what I'm necessarily going to be missing and they'll be able to hold your hand, mm. and they've probably seen this a billion times before, mm -hmm. who to call at CRA to you know, sort it out and make a payment Got plan. it, can you hold my hand? I will totally okay, hold your hmm. hand. All right. It's gonna be okay, Tracy. As mentioned, there are it's advantages okay. to filing taxes online. So TurboTax online software allows you to securely <laughs> net file your taxes in just a few mm -hmm. clicks, and receive returns in as little as eight days, and it includes all tax law changes. Today's audience will all take home a TurboTax kit. Oh, nice.